Good day friends, this is Reshma from Zibo and let's make investment simple. In this video, we're going to see about the difference between investor and uh, trader and uh, which would suit you and uh, what should you choose. Okay, so let's get into this. Uh, first thing first, congratulations, you have decided to invest or trade in the stock markets. Good, you are taking the right decision. Now let's find out, uh, there are two ways in which uh, you can approach the stock market as an investor or as a trader. I mean, each has its own uh, advantages as, it, as well as its disadvantages. Uh, let's find out uh, which is which and uh, hopefully this will help you in choosing between one of these two. Okay, so let's start with the uh, returns perspective. On an average, in a country like India, which is going to grow for uh, next uh, 50, 60 years easily, 10 to 15 percentage is almost kind of guaranteed for uh, if you are to invest in the index funds and uh, if you are prudent in your stock selection, you are almost kind of guaranteed to get 10 to 15 percentage uh, over a period of time that is uh, say five six years if your investment horizon is now five six years you are uh, kind of guaranteed to get that much returns but if you are trading some people make more than 20 30 percentage even in a month but the other side of it that many people lose more than 20 30 percentage each month so if you are a person who wants higher return while taking that risk then go with trading. If you are a person who wants a, a decent returns by taking almost kind of a very little risk, then go with investing. Then the time period. The investment by default is means a long term uh, investment. So it takes about uh, three to five years for it to the will to accumulate the uh, things to work in your favor and from then on the company will take compounding will come into effect and it will uh, start creating good wealth for you. But uh, in the longer you stay invested, it is better for you. But in the case of trading, it is more like um, you will be trading minute by minute, even how by hour. See, if you are an investor, your time horizon is somewhere between three to five, minimum three to five years. And the maximum, mm, I know I have my friends who have, fathers have invested for more than uh, uh, 30 years and uh, the stocks have given them phenomenal returns. So usually for the wealth to accumulate, you need to invest at least for uh, three years and more. But in the case of trading, the time period is even in some cases it's in minutes. Some people even buy and sell within minutes, five minutes of each, I mean the buy and sell. Uh, if for a, a day trader, you will be trading uh, uh, say a couple of times in the, within a day itself and uh, swing traders, all the people, it's usually it's in the short term uh, period. So if, you're in, if you can afford to wait for at least three to five years minimum, then go with investment. If you are a person who wants to make, uh, I mean, uh, take quick decisions, want to uh, make profit or loss in the uh, few days itself or few minutes as well, then go with trading. And uh, the time invested. Uh, suppose you are an investor, the time that you need to uh, allocate for your investment decisions is very less. Suppose you want to invest only in the index funds, you have to, uh, the research you need to do would be probably about uh, 15 to 20 minutes a month based on the, uh, your time availability. Say for example, if you are an investor who invests only with the index funds, in that case, uh, you hardly need to spend more than uh, half an hour a month on deciding on investing in the index fund. If you want to do a stock selection by yourself, couple of hours is the, all that is required to analyze couple of stocks and then invest on them month on month. But if you are a person who wants to trade, in that case, you need to spend a lot of time watching into your mobile or a trading screen, doing a lot of uh, uh, technical analysis, looking at the charts, taking quick decisions because the timing is important for trading. So if you want to take up trading, then make sure that you have a lot of available time, a lot of free times uh, with you. So that, I mean, uh, if you want to uh, take up trading, then you make sure that you have a lot of time available for you to look at the charts, uh, do some analysis and make some quick decisions. If you are a person who are hard pressed for time, you are better off being a then uh, what are the analysis you need to do usually for an investor you need to do if you are picking the stocks by uh, 
uh, yourself individual stocks then you need to do some fundamental analysis of the stocks uh, their balance sheets the profit and loss statements uh, the cash flow p ratio all these kind of things we need to do but then these are fundamental in nature you need to uh, study the business operations and then find the price and uh, find out whether it is uh, undervalued overvalued and take a decision by investment decision but if you are a trader you overlook all kind of fundamental news and only look at the technical you look at the price pattern the volume pattern how the price behaved in the past uh, couple of uh, years uh, uh, days minutes or whatever depending on the time frame you do the analysis only based on the price and the volume and the technical charts there are so many number of technical charts which you need to uh, study master and then uh, trade so uh, while analyzing wise if you have lot of time then go with trading if you have short of time you cannot spend too much time analyzing the stocks then go with investment and uh, final thing is the and the attitude of uh, buying and selling uh, for an investor lesser price is always the better your investors attitude must be to buy low and then sell higher on the other hand your trader must always buy high and sell higher this is the fundamental difference between i mean the most important difference between a uh, investor and a trader if your attitude is buy low and then sell higher then stick with investing if you can take the risk and buy at the high and then sell higher then go with trading uh, this one is rough guide of how uh, trading difference between the trader and an investor if you need to know more about this in detail uh, then Uh, call the number given in the description or uh, uh, get in touch with any of the experts with zebu we will surely guide you this is suresh kumar signing off for zebu on let's make investment simple thank you bye bye